All right, so we're going to go through how to create a chevron pattern. The left side is the completed pattern that I created earlier. So we're going to make one on the right side. It's probably not going to look exactly the same. So you're going to select the layer that you want to uh, do your pattern on. You're going to select view, show grid, so you can um, make sure your lines are evenly spaced. If you want to do advanced settings on your grid, go to view, grid axis manager, and then you can play around with how big you want your grid to look like, or small. All right, so after that, you're gonna to go to the stroke menu. If you don't have the stroke menu open or um, selected, go to view and then go to studio. And right here, you'll have your uh, stroke selected if it's not, okay? So once you're in the stroke menu, um, actually, before you do that, you're going to select your pen tool, so that way you can uh, change the settings before you start. So you're going to uh, select the line for the stroke, the width of the stroke that you want to make. I'm going to do it at a 10. And then your cap, you're going to want to do as a square cap. The join section is going to be, um, that is called miter. And then the align is going to be for center. The miter selection right here, you're going to want to do 2.5. That is for the um, the tips of the connected points that we're going to create. All right, so once all that is done, you're going to select your first point <clears throat> anywhere that you want to start. Um, I typically start on the left side and work my way over. Make your point, just do one click. And then for how long you're, uh, you want to make it, I'm just going to do two units over on the grid and then you're just going to keep following that pattern until you meet the very end. So at the end is a little difficult. So what I do is I select the move tool and I move my pattern over and then I'm going to continue on from here to there. And then if you can move it over more so you can complete the pattern. Okay, so once that's done, center your object just so it looks, uh, there you go. Okay, so next you want to do is copy and paste to create uh, multiple copies of it. So all I'm doing is um, on a Mac, uh, command and then shift and just dragging. You can also go up to your layers menu and you can just do control J as many times as you want. And then um, just make sure. So one tool I really like to use is the alignment tool. Select all your layers, go to uh, right here, the spacing, select this guy. This will space everything vertically for however the much space you want to do. So I'm actually going to move all these over just so it gets the, uh, looks a little nicer. So I need more copies. So I'm going to move this up a little and then move this down. Do the same thing, select everything and then space it evenly. So this is a little differently from this and that is because of the width. These ones, uh, if I select it, are at 20. So if I select all of these and make them 20, it'll look a little different. I also did my spacing a little differently on this side. As you can see the grid, it's hard to tell with all the copies. So if I hide all but one and you can kind of see, let me see the, do a different one. Okay, so if you do that one, you can see I did actually shorter lengths than I did on this one. So it all depends on your length. You can make different types of chevrons where they're um, shorter in length, like the one on the left, or you can do longer ones on the right. All right, thanks.